Hi Sagittarius, welcome to What's Next in Love. We're gonna check in what's gonna be happening um, in your next phase next phase here. Um, the current the person's current intentions, feelings towards you, um, any messages and spirit guidance. Um, with here, um, the arching energy here is obsession. I don't know if this person is already known to you or this person knows about you, but I'm not sensing that this is a past person. Um, maybe a few of you it is, but I'm sensing that this could be a new energy heading towards you. Um, and it looks like this would be the blueprint of the relationship. This will be a faded, faded meeting with seven here. I'm seeing that it's a divine number. I don't know if you're seeing a lot of 777, 717, or 747. Um, with four here, uh, this will be a very stable relationship. Maybe with an emperor even, or with Aries Taurus person. Um, with 18 here, it looks like this relationship would be very filled with love so much so that it would become very obsessive with both of you um, and this will really trigger um, the shadow side um, with moon here um, inner child healing um, this will really trigger both of your guys's I'm looking at it as a if you guys had hurt and pain in the past that you have not um, addressed and you just put it in a box and taped it and put it in a layaway so to speak um, this person will trigger a spiritual path a healing of those relationships that you have kind of compartmentalized it would really bring all that back so um, this would be a very consuming relationship at the same time healing but it might be something that would be too much for you it would be too much for you both actually um, with the goddess of sacred path here um, this would be a love that would go beyond logic um, this you you would just feel it through um, your heart so this is gonna be a very psychic connection um, if you haven't met this person you're about to meet this person um, and again with lack and I'm seeing it as a mirror energy. So you guys will have to confront um, something that was probably lacking in your life um, or in maybe childhood. A lot of insecurities here. So if you felt like your parent did not give you enough attention, um, this would be something that you have to deal with. But then at the end of this, you'll realize your capability and the depth of how much love you can give to a person um, with obstacles here this is a very abundant in happiness but at the same time it's going to be very abundant in obstacles as well um, this will test you guys on how to kind of wiggle your way around uh, let's see if this is going to be a long distance relationship how you guys are going to tackle that if one of you guys have a very busy schedule how are you going to tackle that um, if one of you guys already have children or um, one does not want children like you guys have to there's going to be obstacles here and it will manifest in different ways for differently for each and one of you um, also here grounding would be very important I don't know if this person would have a very significant Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy um, with ace of earth this is ace of Pentacle so I'm seeing it as a second chance again I'm not I'm not really getting that this is a past person so this could be a relationship where the divine is giving you guys a second chance at love um, a true happiness so if you guys had a long-term partnership or a marriage that got dissolved before and you guys stopped believing in love this would be a love that could really stand the test of time I'm hearing um, but again with limitations and fears here it might stop you from going the distance because it's right under um, confront and maybe you guys in the past would be very possessive um, 
or maybe just very overprotective with your person in the past and this person as well because you guys will be marrying each other and it looks like the danger is here is you guys would be both obsessed with each other that you guys would consume both fire and fire i'm seeing and it will just be too much to bear and the only way to kind of um, extinguish this fire is to kind of set you guys apart put distance between you two and again even the passion here would be an obstacle that would be too much for you guys to bear so much passion between you guys um that would really confront it would really test your boundaries really stretch you to your limits um but again once you overcome these it's gonna be not smooth sailing but there's gonna be wind in your sails in this love um there's gonna be little bumps in the water but it's not gonna be something that you guys cannot overcome um but before this really had to that direction you guys are going to be tested until all of these are kind of wiped out so um, let's see what would be the obstacles here um, or if this was a past person uh, this was the obstacles before um, the problem we have spoiled getting spoiled treating catering etc so if you or this person was like, I don't know, an old, only child or someone that grew up in a very, not really necessarily rich family, but they could be. Um, but I'm seeing like they have a parent that would indulge them in things. Um, if it was not attention that was not granted to them, it would be um, by just giving them, handing them things. So this person might have grown up with, you know, driving a fancy sports car or getting the latest gadgets um you know like i'm seeing someone that would go to like a hotel for the weekend even if their house is like a block away because they just want to stay in a hotel it's that kind of spoiled it's like very very spoiled and if this is your person you're going to be the opposite of that you're not that kind you'd be very logical you probably like to budget or really look into your finances this person has no boundaries in any of that form um that could be a problem as well um differences in like financial spending um if this person does not know how to limit themselves like that could be an issue um i'm seeing this as if this person knows they fucked up like in a way where um or if this is in the past if they did something wrong maybe they tell little white lies like nothing huge but um maybe like peer pressure or just them um they would have a hard time also owning up to whatever it is even if they know they're in the wrong they would find ways to kind of apologize but not say the words um they would probably show it through actions or maybe giving or maybe cooking you food or doing something really nice to you but it would this person would have a tough time voicing i'm sorry but they will be sorry in different ways okay that's weird okay and it says i'm over it tired of drama so this person has a low tre threshold of stress um since spoiled this is i'm, I'm hearing they would have a rebellious side maybe throw a tantrum um so with this i'm seeing this person might probably um take a day or two not communicating and just kind of clear their head before approaching you um so maybe when you confront this person you would not get a response this person might just probably walk out or maybe glaze over the situation and maybe they do hear you but they don't want to address it again with that spoiled energy here okay and we have writing it out so this person looks like they distract themselves with activities also um, i'm seeing it as 
cruising over their emotions. They don't really go in. So they surf through upheavals when it comes to relationships. So this person has not gone in depth with their like heart chakra. Um, with you, it's going to be triggered. I don't know if you are the same. You do not like to go out of control in a sense where you don't you can't decipher how you feel when everything meshes love pain and passion meshes it's tough for you to kind of decipher i'm feeling like this person it's it's like that for this person so logically it will be best if they kind of um go over the tide so to speak so this is something to watch out for um when this, when this person feels like they are not in control, this person will back away until they feel like they're in control and they would come back to you. So that's something definitely that needs worked on. So let's look at how they would be feeling or how this will materialize um, or how you feel about them. Um, these are like four oracle cards. Okay, we have good news, text, a message is text, phone call, someone has something to say, needing to communicate clearly, be open to listening. Okay, so again, um, I'm hearing open line. Um, you guys would have, you guys would need an open um, communication on both ends. Um, also, I'm hearing that if it's not, if you're not in a good mood, this person would not want to talk. So you always have to be in this cheerful mode. Okay, that's kind of tough. Like nobody is going to be cheery all the time. Um, let me clarify that. That's kind of... Right. But it's spoiled there. I have to, this person is going to be very demanding maybe. And I think you're going to teach this person something. Can you clarify, Angel Michael, what the good news is? I'm hearing like the opposite of that. Okay, Ace of Wands. And if this is a past person, this person might probably call text to communicate that they want a reunion. King of Swords. You're probably dealing with an air sign here. Um, or the Hierophant. Uh, I don't know if this person works for a big organization or if you're dealing with a Taurus because Earth sign is here. Or this was a past person that could have been a high-level soulmate, commitment, um, marriage even. Um, but it looks like this person will text, call, or email regarding reunion. And this person will come in truthful. But be careful as well because this person wants to put you on your back immediately. So... Um, just know, discern if this person, if they're coming back, if this is a person, just discern um, what their intentions are. If you feel like they have not, um, like their reconciliation feels like there's lacking of something, lacking clarity on your end, and if it just does not feel right, don't go ahead and sleep with this person because that would just kind of... Um, like I'm hearing the cycle would keep on going so make this person wait a while or maybe um, talk more until you feel like because again with intuition here you can't really like it has to feel right for you um, I don't know why I'm get really getting that it has to feel right once you feel like it's right then everything would flow properly and if this is uh, the person that you have not met or about to meet this person will um always use um text messages so this person before this they come towards you they might probably make sure that everything is good um this person would not be randomly popping to your house for whatever reason um with king of swords this person could be very strategic with how they communicate um and again with writing it out this person could be a thrill seeker but at the same time they could be very um devoid of emotion when they um talk to you and the only way that they could communicate the passion is through 
um, sex or like physical touch. Um, yeah. So just watch out for that. Okay, let me take this out. Okay, let's go to the next man. A male friend enters your life. A male romantic interest. A man will assist you. A man plays a key role. So I don't know if you guys are dating other people, but if that's not the case, um, there's going to be a friend here that's going to be in male energy that could probably help you navigate through your love life or it's just someone that's a confidant that would have your best interest at heart so if there's someone like that in your life don't hesitate to kind of um like voice out if you have like if you have confusion in certain aspects here like don't hesitate to talk to this person so long distance travel wanting to escape a new adventure a journey to the next level okay so again with writing it out you guys might probably meet during travel or you guys like traveling um or you guys are at a long distance because again with good news here it might be tough to pop in your house to talk to you because this person will be in long distance um so that would be a lot of phone mileage there and we have love offer being asked out on a date love to the next level positive new love coming in and a job offer you love so maybe you guys are moving to a different place and this is when you'd meet the person or um it'll be one of the people that you're gonna go on a date with that would be here so i don't know this could come out in different aspects here um, but if this is a past person coming through, um, this person would travel towards you and give you a love offer. But I have a feeling that this person would not randomly travel until you're given um, like a thing that you want to talk face to face. Maybe, maybe just to clear out cobwebs or maybe to clear out um, what you guys want to do. If you guys want to step up and go to the next phase. So let's see their current um, feelings or intentions. We have standing alone, number 24. I'm seeing that as uh, six as well. So that's the lover lover's card. So that's um, like a soulmate energy. Also, I'm seeing here um, if this person... I'm also seeing like they're they feel really alone without you and i'm also feeling like if you guys date and this was not an established relationship you are going to be the person that they choose if there's yeah and also i'm sensing here this man or woman would not come towards you unless they feel like you're not dating anyone because again, with the obsession there, this person could be very, very, very possessive. And that shit could spiral out of control. And if they know someone is having you, like this would really like put this person on a tailspin. This person not only loves you so much, but they would really be quiet about it. Um, you could probably just tell by the way they look at you, but they would not say it. Why am I, this is like a very blocked throat chakra. It's kind of annoying. I mean, passion is great and all, but sometimes you just need to hear affirmations, like words, like, oh my God, I do love you. Like just random stuff that would make you feel good. Okay, so anyhow, enough of my opinions. Okay, open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. We have spirit soul path, a personal evolution within your relationship. So again, I'm sensing that mirror energy earlier and this sacred path, um, this really trigger you both on a soul path. So this could be like a very um, spiritual relationship or a very psychic or both. Um, yeah, so this, this is, I'm hearing past life soulmate so this is going to be very intense 
not just on your end, but on their end as well. And we have freedom, healthy space, and room to breathe in. So, again, with the obsession there, I don't know if it's you or this person would have that kind of thing, but I'm feeling that it's you both. And one of the lessons you guys will have as a soul path here is to kind of give room to each other to breathe and kind of to have their own personality and you guys will merge you know because when you're with someone you guys will be liking the same things but give freedom to be their own person as well and oh my gosh twin flame union heart body mind and soul again with a spiritual path so this could be a twin flame as well time apart a time of separation again with twin flames time apart is kind of like a part of the journey so um don't panic with that proposal your romance is about to evolve and level up and there's signs and signs and clues the universe is talking to you so you'll know if this is your person or where you're at in this journey um if again if this was a past person and you guys have had a time apart they will come back with a proposal be it for um moving in or they're gonna move into your city or place because i'm seeing sensing long distance travel and this person will um i don't know if it's a proposal proposal for marriage or just having like a engagement even um promise ring and then you guys will kind of slowly come together and um this time you guys will be really building a future um i don't know if labels are important but i'm hearing that that could not be the case but i could be wrong so let's see um your messages from this person okay archangel michael i need five six messages okay i can be myself with you i can't get enough of you i watch your social media your intellect arouses me one more Ooh. again support lean on your inner circle during this time so you guys have been separation um lean on your friends again with that male friend or just someone that is, has a male energy so it could be a man or a woman it does not matter um, to support and it's a, another one here you let me down again if this was a past person or it maybe even the new person that might come in um, with you let me down and spoil their um, this is one of their petulant side that um, if you don't follow what they want um, they get really really disappointed yeah so i again i'm hearing that you will teach this person a lesson in a sense where they won't be spoiled any longer like that part of them would be totally like extinguished that's funny okay so um we have advice here from spirit oh wait hold on i'm gonna do initials so let's see we have c M T G V A got one more and then U. Okay. So let's do the spirit guidance. We have Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. That's beautiful. Again, with the obsession there, I, I'm really guessing that it's you both doing that. Um, overrate your intuition. Number two. So that could be a life path or a birthday even. Um, could be February. Number 17. It could be February 17 or February 8. This could be eight. Eight could be significance. Could be a Virgo Leo you're dealing with. Um, sacred action, decisive focus. So spirit is saying, um, focus on your healing. Focus on yourself. Um, I'm sensing here um, with seventeen. This is uh, the star energy. So keep 
going towards your north node um, if you're focusing on a passion right now don't deviate from that keep going until this person comes through and really says um, what they have to say but for now keep going on your spiritual path and we have the rose of venus alignment flow right relationship and harmony so the next relationship that's going to be heading your way or the one that feels right to you would be the right one for you um definitely divided divided by the divine and ending this reading we're gonna do three oracle um divine timing um, unveiled cards if this will have your yes or no questions okay uh keep an open mind keep an open mind while looking for love to sample the array of possibilities that life presents february so i, I don't know if and with two earlier that you could be dealing with an aquarius or capricorn okay or no aquarius right okay aquarius so yes divine intervention divine intervention will help bring you two together spirit will not reveal so if there's an open-ended question here um there's a yes but it's unknown maybe timing for you and then another one no hard decision two paths to choose both equally attractive for different reasons stuck in indecision when you stop obsessing again with obsession so if you're you have two people to choose from um there's a past and then a new one because i don't know if that male friend could be a friend turning into something like a blossoming romance um, it could be male female but just that aspect a person there on top of the twin flame here um it could be the same person or two different people and if you're stuck with indecision do not make a decision when you don't know what you want yet and also be open to these people where you're at so there's no karmic ties that could evolve into something um like karma that you have to pay later on um so just stay honest be truthful and um and everything will be fine i uh, just choose where your heart leads you let your heart be the compass um, again with your intuition go where it feels like home because again with the north node you're heading towards your north node and north node is the right path the right relationship for you so this is all i have for you sagittarius um good luck with um this next phase in love and i hope this enlightened you on your present situation past situation or your future situation so i wish you well and thank you bye